So what we're announcing today is a bold, ambitious, uh, hopeful investment in the local church that we believe that this will enable the church to become younger, more diverse, to do more things for more people. So over the next three years, there'll be 1.2 billion, yes, that was billion pounds available to support ministry in the poorest parishes in this country, to help us to become net carbon zero by 2030, and most of the money to be used in focused ways uh, to reach more people, especially the young and especially in our poorest communities. This extra money, what's going to be available, is just a great um, weight off of our shoulders that the people in need will be looked after and won't be forgotten. And this church is in use every single day of the week with something going on. The number of people coming in is extraordinary. A couple of years ago, they were having 20 people a day. They've now got, to, at the moment, roughly 100 people a day. Now that speaks to the needs of the local community, but at the same time, the worship of the church is deepening and growing. It can help us to sustain for another few years to help and serve the community. Speaking on a personal level, it's helped me so much, and, and we just want to give back, so it's fantastic news. What I'd want people to take away, knowing the news today, is that where churches have brave, good ideas, they will get extra support to do them, to meet local community needs and to glorify God and to bring people to faith in Christ. Isn't it amazing that from one trestle table seven years ago in a church that was about to close, you now see a church revitalised. That is what we want to see happen in every parish and we believe that a focused use of money is more likely to help that happen.